All right, so your client comes in with an ectopic pregnancy. It's been confirmed on a vaginal ultrasound and there's no intrauterine pregnancy seen. So what are we gonna do about this? That's gonna depend if it's ruptured or unruptured. In an unruptured ectopic pregnancy, you're gonna administer methotrexate. And methotrexate is gonna attack those fast dividing and growing cells. And that's what that embryo is. But you need to tell your client, no folic acid. We need to stop those prenatal vitamins. And that's because they have folic acid in them. And folic acid is an enemy to methotrexate. They're gonna work against each other and it's gonna cancel out. And we're also gonna be tracking those beta HCG levels. Now, beta HCG is that pregnancy hormone, and we wanna watch that and make sure it gets to zero or undetectable, and that shows that the methotrexate has done its job. Now, your client is likely gonna have some pain, and we wanna treat that, but you need to remember this star point, no opioids. Opioids can mask signs of rupture, and we are not here to play hide and seek with internal bleeding. When the NCLEX asks you about your client having an ectopic pregnancy and experiencing pain, make sure you choose that you wanna give this client acetaminophen and not opioids. If rupture is suspected, this is an emergency. Remember this star point, it is surgery time. If ectopic pregnancy is just suspected and that tube has not ruptured yet, then the physician can go in and make an incision in that tube to remove the contents of pregnancy and this will preserve the tube. However, if rupture happens, then we have to have a salpingectomy and they're going to remove the whole fallopian tube and the contents that have ruptured. Now make sure you place two large bore IVs and this is for rapid fluid resuscitation. Remember, this is a bleed out situation. And then of course, we're going to obtain a blood type and RH status. This client's probably going to need blood products. And then of course, we need our RH status in case we need to give Rogam if she's RH negative.